Hey, I'm Stevie Salas and welcome to Arbor Live. Tonight our first band is a band that came on the scene with a real down and dirty style of rock and roll a few years back, then sort of went away. Well now they're back and they're bigger than ever. They're called Buck Cherry and they're rocking Arbor Live. We also have what I think is a future superstar in singer-songwriter Angus Jordan. And last but certainly not least, we have my man, the very charismatic and happening Derek Miller. So let's sit back and buckle up and do this thing called Arbor Live.
Stevie, come on. Now is not the time for dancing. I'm doing the Sandy Schofield shuffle, dude. It's on, it's on, it's on. I need a third act for the third act. I need a band now in 15 minutes. Relax, brother. I'm gonna get Buck Cherry. Just relax. You're not gonna get Buck Cherry. You're dreaming. If we would have gotten Buck Cherry, they would have called by now. Uh -huh. That's probably just another one of your girlfriends. It might be. Hey, find out if she's got a friend. There's no way she has a friend for you. Oh. Stevie here. Really? You guys are at the station? Buck Cherry's at the station. Okay, hang tight, hang tight. We're gonna send, we're gonna send Eric down. He's gonna pick you guys up. Just hang tight. Right on. We got Buck Cherry. We got Buck Cherry. Oh my God. <laughs> Steel bird, you genius. Book him. Buck Cherry. Eric! I need you to do me a favor, okay? I need you to go down to the station and pick up Buck Cherry. You think you can handle that? Yeah. Great. How do I know what Buck Cherry looks like? You don't need to know what Buck Cherry looks like, okay? You just get a sign, you write Buck Cherry on it, you hold it over your head, Buck Cherry will come to you. Got it? Yeah. So what are you doing? I'm going down to the station to pick up Buck Cherry. They'll come to me. There you go. Great. Buck Cherry. <clears throat> Eric. What? Remember when I told you to go down to the station to pick up Buck Cherry? Yeah. Yeah. I meant now! Now! <clears throat> Buck Cherry. He's gonna f it up. Hit me now!
Hey, all right, all right. Hey, what? That's right, I'm sexy. And a shot of cocaine! Lips and a shot of cocaine. Yeah. Sex on my lips and a shot of cocaine. Sex on my lips and a shot of cocaine. Sex on my lips and a shot of cocaine. I jam award and all of a sudden look at you now like a big rock star you got a beautiful stylist here sorting you out cleaning up your clothes is this your first taste of rock star uh, treatment this is it's is my very first taste of rock star treatment how'd you like that it's pretty good man. The NCI Gem, that's the biggest thing there is up here, right? That is like the, the holy grail, the mother load of uh, things you can win. And you won the whole thing. Uh, was that a shock? Uh, yeah, it was, man. I did, you, I did you cry? No, I didn't. You shed one tiny tear? <laughs> no way. Yeah? You sing really sensitive, beautiful love songs. Uh, um, with a lot of emotion. I'm sure that the, the, a lot of the girls must really uh, come to your shows and enjoy those songs, huh? Well, hopefully they'll, they'll start coming a little more. <laughs> so I'm a surfer, right? I, I go all over the world and I surf. And you look like you're from the North Shore of Hawaii. I could see you with your flip-flops on. You get a load of those, he's got his flip-flops on, right? And even people were commenting on stage, he's got his flip-flops. You look like a pro surfer from Hawaii. Oh, do I? Yeah. Hey, we're really glad to have you on Arbor Thank Live. You, man. I'm very, this is cool. I'm sitting next to Steve Salas. It's, I want to swear, but I can't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Angus Jordan. You rich. Thanks a lot. All right. Thinking steady, what could have been other than that? Well, I'm doing all right, yeah. You're looking so good, you're looking so fine, making me reminisce and miss days when you and I, all the nights, all the times, all in my bed. No, 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 girl, don't, don't lie to yourself. You feel it as well. I know I. Can tell. Let's drop the acting and baby come back and give me that sweet, sweet love. Give me that sweet, sweet love. Come back and give me that sweet, sweet love. Girl, this is between me and you, and I'll do what I gotta do. Get you to live in my arms, don't be alone. I'ma be loving you forever. Without you, my heart is seven and two. With one piece leaving with you, my feelings are true. Like the skies are blue, could never be blue. When she's mine, I feel like I could never be her. And I have one limited world. Wondering why God clipped this angel. 
angel's wings With the joy that she brings Makes me wanna get, get Her sweet love is infectious Like a disease that can bring me to my knees And make my whole body free For centuries watching the fallen leaves And no blood flows through my veins People change, darling But all love will stay the same, darling All love will stay the same So come on back and give me that Give me that sweet, sweet love Come back and give me that sweet, sweet love Give me that sweet, sweet love Whoa. Buck Cherry in here? Buck Cherry in here? Hey, you Buck Cherry? <laughs> Sorry, dude. <sighs> Buck Cherry? Come on.
sitting here with uh, Derek Miller at the Arbor Life Studios. And uh, I think Derek would be fair to say that you are probably the true Indian guitar hero to the people. <laughs> You're the people's hero? I'm uh, the people's hero. I don't know. I mean, the true guitar hero, I don't know about that one. <laughs> Champion like Rocky Balboa. Like, <laughs> yeah. like you know, I come up, uh, you know, I come in around and, and hang with all the boys and everybody. Mm -hmm. And um, I notice that the people look at you. You're like a true real rock and roller. You, you've experienced no, uh, no. the mountains and the valleys. And you, you know, how do you know how to talk to somebody unless you've experienced those things yourself? You know yeah. firsthand. I, say. I think people are just responding to my honesty, my you know, struggle as well because they've seen me go through the ups and downs, like through addiction and, you know, rallying back through that and um, now I'm just trying to focus on um, rediscovering my past, I guess, through my art and I think that's a lot of truth in that with, you know, like yourself or with uh, other artists coming up, um, trying to rediscover their, their heritage, their culture and, and um, the importance of language and culture and and that strength that comes from the people that can help you overcome these um, new struggles that are coming our way with, um, you know, trying to control our media. Um, we need to control, you know, what movies we're making, um, what TV shows we're producing, uh, what music we're making. All this sorts of stuff um, is very important and integral into the preservation and continuance of um, our culture and our heritage. Absolutely. Across the back of the turtles. This is Stevie uh, from Buck Cherry. What's happening? Hi, Stevie. What's Hi. happening? Hi. You know what? Finally, finally get to meet you. I've, uh, you know, like through, for the last, I don't know how many years I've been getting, uh, you know, phone calls or emails about, uh, are you Stevie Salas? And I'm like, no, I'm, I'm my own guy, man. Oh, I'm my I, you own know. Stevie. <laughs> but and and now we're finally meeting. Well, now you're you a know. big rock star, man. So well, they're gonna forget about me, and it's all no, Stevie Buck well, Cherry now. You know, Mick Jagger's not going away, so. <laughs> So you're, you're, you're here. Well, I, wanna, I want you to tell me a little bit about the Crew Fest and what's going on out here. Well, we started July 1. Uh, well, Buck Cherry just finished an album. And then uh, we were asked to do Crew Fest. It was going to be uh, us, Motley Crew, Papa Roach, Trapped, and Nikki's band, 6 a.m. Yeah. Uh, started off where, you know, we, we had been on the road with uh, Motley before in Japan. And uh, we did the Bad Boys of Rock tour with Papa Roach. So we. We were familiar with those guys, we were all friends. But, you know, getting together at this this way has brought like the insanity to a whole different level.
Derek Miller's been around a long time. Um, I, you know, I, I really hate to repeat myself with this long time stuff, but we're here. We're native people on our own land. What other reference points do I have? But Derek, when he was young, he was the sweetheart darling of much music. He came out of Six Nations by storm, and he's held that weather forecast for a really long time. Drive you crazy. Often, sometimes I'll be up here and, and people ask me, like, oh, how come you were playing uh, on some big television show I saw you on last week or whatever? And I go, well, you can do that too. And they go, we try, but they won't let us. And I often say, well, who are they? You're sort of leading a, a bit of a movement, I sort of feel like I, I'm, I'm witnessing when I watch the way the fans watch you and the way that uh, you speak with them and they interact. They really, it's like, you're like your own uh, Indian Barack Obama. <laughs> <laughs> I do have to champion my people because my people uh, and the native people across North America have, you know, really embraced what we're trying to accomplish and um, it's now to get to the level of, um, you know, the, you know, the people that you're playing with on the billboard charts, right? Yeah. <laughs> the number ones and stuff like that. So it's trying to get to that level, but uh, yeah, I don't, I, I'm having, you got some ideas on how to do that. I mean, with this, uh, like this TV show, and with uh, bringing the the mainstream to the people. The greatest thing about Derek Miller is that he's improved himself and with that improvement he's, he's taken his music to greater heights. And I think that's a copacetic type of relationship that he has with his music because his music is starting to take him around the world. And when he attributes people such as Link Ray as an inspiration to his power chord style, his power trio that he performs with, it's... Uh, and I really hate to, to say this all the time, but raw passion. There's no other way to describe it. You know, I think that uh, when, I, when I first met you and started hearing about you several, several years ago, I mean, I've known you now for quite a few years, and I think that uh, um, your massive hybrid approach 
It's very reminiscent of Link Ray. Would you say that you're very inspired by Link Ray? Very much so. Um, Link Ray is the coolest motherfucker ever. Hey, you, know, you, know, <laughs> you know that most people don't know that Link Ray uh, is, is uh, Shawnee. Yeah, he's yeah. Shawnee, yeah. half Shawnee. You know, to tell the truth, I didn't know that till Brian Wright McLeod laid that on me. I don't know, five years ago. I was like, oh my god. Link Ray has uh, been an integral discovery for me. I'm, I was. Uh, hanging out with an old manager and gave me this record with uh, the profile is Link Ray, it was the first uh, Polydor record. He recorded it in a chicken coop. That was a, a huge record for me to hear this like guy screaming with one lung and playing the slide guitar. And was it 1950? 58. He in, invented distorted guitar and the power chord. So. Oh, the money's just fine if you suffer fools gladly. I don't dance for anyone sadly, baby. It's a great thing that uh, the contributions Native America has given music and uh, uh, hopefully uh, with your TV show and with other things uh, it can uh, be showcased more predominantly in the future um, with hopefully some movies and stuff like that to tell that story because that's just yeah. an incredible story. It, hopefully it, played by me. It's an <laughs> you know, you know it's, it's, it's the thing that makes it, makes it really important. It's not just an incredible Native story. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's an incredible story. Yeah. It's like if you want to be a great musician, it's great to be a great native musician. Yeah. But it's great just to be a great musician, right? Yeah, and exactly. Like a global way of thinking. I think that's an important thing to think about. Link Ray inspired the people globally. Exactly, and to contribute in the Encyclopedia of Music is, you know, that's what I aspire to. You know, like just to try and contribute something that actually sparks something else, or you know, makes a groundswell for somebody else to go, "Wow, I heard this thing that Derek did." And it, branches off to something really extreme, you know, so yeah. uh, whatever we can do to, you know, um, bring it up to a level where the kids can take it to another level, and that's what we're here for, I guess. There you go. Young Derek Miller, handsome. <laughs> the Donny Osmond of rock. <laughs> no! <laughs> You're killing me, old guys! <laughs>
Does it have to be this way? I miss you It hurts more every day oh, Baby, what did I say? To make you feel this way I would hate to see what would happen after three months of this. Like right now, like everyone needs, it's you know naps. You know, it's yeah, like yeah, it's yeah. so crazy. So it, it's good to know. It's good to know that there's still uh, real rock and roll tours left. You know, because uh, for a yeah. while there was getting to the point where you didn't know if rock was going to survive. But now it seems like it's starting to explode all over again. And little kids are getting into it. I mean, yeah. Buck Cherry's having an incredible. You guys are incredibly successful right now. Yeah, it, it's weird. It you know in the day and age where. Um, downloads and and you know it, it, it there's there's ringtones now so we went platinum on the last record and um, you know not a lot of bands are not a lot, a lot of rock and roll bands are doing that anymore we went out and literally sold each record we toured for about two and a half years on that record by itself so we started out playing to 30 people in a club and ended up in amphitheaters and arenas It's all about the fans, yeah, you know. Right. So. You guys probably got a lot of good-looking girl fans too, right? Yeah. Well, well good-looking. Well, you know what? Do me a favor. If if they're really pretty, <laughs> just tell some one or two of them you're Stevie Sala, so they still think I'm young <laughs> right. and pretty too. <laughs>
In case you haven't noticed, one of us still has a career, and Steelbird isn't gonna blow it. I'm gonna bring the show in on time, on money, and in shape. Oh. They'll be here. I need Buck Cherry here now! What the heck are you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? I see you to pick up Buck Cherry. He's right here. I'm your huckleberry. Who in the hell is that? It's Buck Cherry. You told me to go down to the bus station and pick him up, so I did. No, you, Buck Cherry's at the train station. It's a band. Who are you? Buck Cherry. That's my name. My kids call me Uncle Buck, because I am their uncle. On account, I'm married to their ma, who's my cousin. She's shacked up with my brother now, and they're doing just fine. We got the wrong Buck Cherry? There's more than one Buck Cherry. <laughs> <laughs> you bitches are crazy. Bitches are crazy, but you do so good. <laughs> I got rid of him. <laughs>